I'm just sitting here trying to catch up on my journal. I had a cup of coffee going. Male spruce girl started displaying, so I started. I got the camera out to get a picture of him, and found out that the reason he was so excited there was a female over there on the grit pile. So I followed him over there, and I was getting the shot when a snowshoe hare came running by, and I knew what was coming then. Sure enough, there was a marten right behind him. Well, I didn't get a shot, but. I got back over here in my chair, getting ready to be set up, and here come the snowshoe hare and the marten again, but before I could get the camera going, the marten had caught his prey, and that's where this film picks up right now, with the marten killing the snowshoe hare, and then finally realizing I was sitting here, it took off for a little bit, and then finally come back and retrieved his dinner. Maybe I can get back to my journal now. Well, that sure didn't end that well for that hare, but the marten doesn't always win either. Several years ago, I watched a chase out here several times for up to 20 minutes, and a hare would run around this cabin site with a marten about seven seconds behind. So the marten never got to see the hare, but it was always hot on the trail, and the hare would do a big figure eight. And it ran around that same figure eight so many times that after about 20 minutes, I think it just took a flying leap to the side. And after that, I would just see the marten chasing around on the old route of that figure eight. So that hare was smart, and it lived on all year. These, they just didn't have the speed. <laughs> 